Welcome to the Dungeon Run! We're trapped in the gauntlets, but one thing we know is real is that we're back together in the table, uh, around the table with you, and we can't wait to see what happens. I, I nail it every time. <laughs> this chapter of the Stormborn is speeding towards a dramatic conclusion, but rest assured, friends, we have some very cool things on the way. Stay tuned on the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social media for some big announcements coming your way, plus more of this story and these amazing faces very, very soon. We are sponsored by Eldritch Foundry. They are the premier place to design and order customized realistic miniatures for all tabletop games with unparalleled levels of detail. Yeah! Every type of character you can imagine, so many clothes and items and terrain, dashingly heroic poses, incredible customizable outfits, items, mounts, uh, like, like this, like this Failshin mini with a mechanized spider mount. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. One of the coolest minis. Design, print it yourself or have them print it for you and ship it to you. Be sure to use our discount code, the Dungeon Run, at checkout to get 20% off. The Artificer's Guide to Magic Items is now available on the DMs Guild. It's an amazing 5th edition D&D expansion that will help you level up your magic items for your own campaign. Nine new Artificer spells, 22 new original magic items, and so many ways to fine-tune your character's crafting abilities to unlock your imagination, all the homebrew goodness you could imagine. Beautiful artwork, so many other ways to, to just bring this and make your artificer or or any crafting uh, wizard or anything character your own and take it up to the next level. Now on DMs Guild, digital copies for only $4.99, hardcovers available at $17.99. I just got a shipping notification for my hardcover. It's going to be in my hands within the next five days. He's getting it. It's incredible. Die Hard Dice is the place to go for gorgeous dice and dice accessories. Magic the Gathering players check out their beautiful new battle-worn lifelink counters. I'm told that's important when you play it Magic is. the Gathering. I couldn't help myself, though, and I got these new Glacial Requiem dice, and they are stunning. These are polymer. They're not metal. They look metal. They're beautiful, very Valkorio, very frosty blue. I love it. Check it out at dieharddice.com. Don't forget to use our coupon code Dungeon Run at checkout for a discount on us. That's Dungeon Run, no the Dungeon Run. Use the the on Eldritch Foundry. Get rid of that the on Die Hard Dice. <laughs> Back to you, Ron. <laughs> our show is made possible by Patreon, so make sure to go to patreon.com slash the Dungeon Run for all the incredible bonus content. For just $5 a month, you get access to cool behind the scenes content and our after show short rest exclusively only to you patrons. You can also get the VODs of fun shows like the Dungeon Cooldown. Josephine Serena and I recorded a cooldown last week that was straight up juicy with some revelations that have got the community buzzing. If you go to the Discord right now, yeah. woo, it was There a lot are of fun. so many red strings in the <laughs> Discord. It's incredible. New patron shout out. We have a bunch of new patrons this week. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you, Jules MP, Vampire Bait, and Ray of Light for joining the community. And a special shout out out to the Black Akari for becoming the newest member of Team Force of Shadow. Thank you, the Black Akari. We appreciate you. There's so much more fun to be had. The uh, Patreon.com slash The Dungeon Run. As you might know, or if you're new here, we are an interactive show, but since we pre-taped this one, uh, <laughs> our interactivity has already been gifted to us, uh, and it will be displayed during the, the uh, episode. So usually how that works is you can use our Twitch extension, can't this time, um, and our about section. There are two ways to help uh, uh, advantage or disadvantage to any player or the DM, or you can choose to join the battle between the Force of Light and Force of Shadow, where you can donate to either side through purchasing of glimpse, glimpses or bursts. Uh, glimpse moves a little bit, burst moves the needle a lot, uh, and when enough has been accumulated for either side, a Force card is unlocked, uh, as you will see one in this episode. Uh, these cards are guaranteed to affect the game in huge and surprising ways. Very huge, very you surprising. You only get stronger as you go. And with that, let's step into the unknown.
Amid the backdrop of the bustling Tri-Cities, our intrepid adventurers, Coco Al Aldershadow, summoner of Queen Mab, Cristobal de la Cruz, <laughs> the never to be outsassed. Who does talk? Valcorio Lunaris, brother whisperer, Octavius Boxcutter, <laughs> Browl Bear, A Browl Bear, and oh, bear. Yuri Advalar, they of many faces. Oh. Embarked on a journey that would test their mettle and unravel the very fabric of their reality. The journey began with a mesmerizing out of body experience, a glimpse into the ethereal unknown before they found themselves at the doorstep of Valcorio's childhood abode in Lunarum. The atm atmosphere was heavy with anticipation as Valcorio's sister, the Zet, warmly welcomed them. However, our heroes found an unsettling air pervading the opulent mansion. Here, they crossed paths with Mr. Cuddlesworth, Bertonius' feline familiar, leading them to discover an unparalleled, unparalleled potent artifact, the royal mirror of the fallen lion. As night descended upon Lenarum, a drama ensued, leaving Coco grappling with her inner turmoil. The following morning, the party dispersed, each pursuing their own quests, while Coco embarked on a solitary journey of introspection and dreams. The others made their way to the docks, a brief respite sponsored by Valcorio's affluent family. <laughs> At the marketplace, Otto and Gast reveled in newfound freedom and joy, while Yuri made a profound choice. Abandoning an ancient deity for a brand new one. Valcorio, vigilant as ever, kept a watchful eye on Yuri while Cristobal delved into his network of contacts. Meanwhile, Coco uncovered fragments of her mysterious past, guided by a face both familiar and largely unknown. Bosog arrived to deliver an ultimatum from Queen Mab herself. As Cristobal grappled with a severe migraine and made his way back to the mansion, an unexpected encounter altered the course of their lives. A colossal fireball streaked across the sky, colliding with the Tower of Celessa, shattering the tranquility of the Tri-Cities. Chaos reigned as people perished, their ears bleeding. Some even met gruesome fates with bursting craniums. Yeah. Swiftly, our heroes sprang into action, saving lives amid the pandemonium. However, Volcario's past deeds now mark them as wanted fugitives. Fugit fugitives, I can say the word. <laughs> Forcing them into the depths of the city sewers. In the shadowy underground, they encountered a rebellious figure, his own brother, Bretonius, and his band of rebels. Coco, Cristobal, and Slushy confronted a, a post-fireball ghastly sight, the blood pool that was once Bosog, now a lifeless <laughs> reminder of their tumultuous journey. Driven by a spy and the alluring scent of Alcorio, they ventured deeper into the labyrinthine sewers themselves. Separated and vulnerable, danger emerged again, embodied by grotesque and disfigured undead. Using the sewers to enhance their eerie echolocation, these abominations searched for their prey. Fortune, however, favored the brave, and with divine friendship bracelet intervention and shrewd decisions, our friends reunited in the safety of an underground sanctuary. As they pieced together the puzzle, the truth began to emerge. The Zet, with cunning maneuvers, backed by the Emerald Bank's resources and a small hint of blackmail, had seized absolute control of Lunarum. Even her father's influence paled in comparison. Bretonius, ever vigilant, sensed the deceit and departed, seeking refuge for himself and those wary of the Zet's sudden ascent. Bretonius also revealed a chance encounter with the Oracle, an intriguing elf named Mara, bearer of the Bone Glove of the Feywild, in search of someone named Narel. The party found solace among Bretonius's crew, who had suffered underground for far too long. Oh. Otto's poached salmon lifted their spirits and set them at ease. I need poached salmon. Omega threes. <laughs> <laughs> Briefly. Briefly. That never... night, Cristobal made a life-altering decision, trading his hand for a brand new six-fingered one. Otto uncovered the mystery of an empty skull, and soon they all realized that their safety was only an illusion. Lord Erebar, Erevar, excuse me, and his undead minions invaded, leaving a trail of death in their wake. 
Only Bretonius emerged unscathed. Trapped and besieged, our heroes had no choice but to seek escape. Yuri's pursuit of Mara led to discovering a hidden passage, a glimmer of hope. Delving into the darkness, they stumbled upon another glow-worm-lit cave, harboring yet another prophecy. The prophecy of the Stormborn fighting a giant sentient ooze and its subjugated sewer minions. <laughs> In the dirt, illuminated by the glow of the worms, the party found the coveted bone glove they had long sought. Otto, driven by curiosity and caution, explored the gauntlet and soon found themselves ensnared by its arcane grasp. One by one, the party succumbed to the lure of the mysterious artifact, transporting them into the heart of the gauntlet, a realm known only to Otto, a place of trials <laughs> and tribulations. Yuri's pursuit of Mara led them closer to the Oracle's elusive presence, but a chilling revelation halted their progress. The Oracle refused to manifest if Cristobal was among them. Desperation ignited a transformation in Yuri, and a profound shift they altered their form to Halle Valentine, a sassy and ditzy human defense mechanism. Whoa! <laughs> her, uh, her, not mine. That was her <laughs> description. Shots Meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. Coco and the party realized it was time to execute Queen Mab's final command, summoning the godlike Fey Queen by planting her final worm. Get it. Yet, <laughs> you did it! We did it! Howdy. 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 I don't know if I should have, but Howdy. I did it. Banners <laughs> dropping. <laughs> yeah. Yet, Thank as you. Queen Mab herself descended, a more unexpected guest arrived. Mm. Thalshin and a spidery mammoth. As the, as the gods of deals confronted this newly arrived spouse, Yuri sees the fleeting chance to escape the wrath of Mab, <laughs> setting the stage for a confrontation unlike any other. And that is where we return. But before we get right into it, we're going to go to a secret room Aww. with our lovely Hallie Valentine. Wow! Oh, saucy. Uh, so we'll be right back. Sassy. Yuri Advilor, or should I say Holly Valentine, uh, you, <laughs> fear has overtaken your body. Yes. Um, your ultimate... Fear Queen Mab is now God born into this world, and you have decided to just bolt it into the woods. Uh, as you're running, leaves scratching <laughs> at your face. Uh, you know your hair, your blonde, long, long yes. blonde, flowing hair is getting tangled in oh, no. in branches and and thorns and, and and these types of things as you're running. Luckily, none of it is actually hurting you. Mm -hmm. um, it seems that uh, for whatever reason, these branches seem due to come off pretty pretty easily. Uh, and as you're running for you don't even know how long, you know, when you're in that fear mode, yes. your brain doesn't keep track of time well. Uh, but it, it is not too long until you are, you're running through the woods and you break out into what looks like a very large lake. And you sort of stop, realizing that your situation has changed, causing you to think a little. In the distance, the water is crystal clear blue and like a mirror. It's still, doesn't seem to be moving at all. And as far as you recalled, when you were up high, it was all trees. There was no openings. There was no expanse. It was all just trees for as far as you could see. But on the edge of the lake, just on the other side from where you've ex exited the woods, is what appears to be a large marble pavilion. White with brownish specks in the marble you can see from here. Um, it seems almost like a beacon that you would have certainly noticed <laughs> before now. Okay. The edge of the lake is sand, white sand. It seems very peaceful. And as you start to listen, all that animal noise that you were hearing before, the, wood, the sounds yeah. of the jungle, seem to dissipate as you enter this open expanse. Where am I? Oh, okay. Um... I'll look behind me. Mm -hmm. Jungle. Just like the jungle you saw before, but... And you can see that the jungle sort of rings the mm -hmm. entirety of the lake. Uh, but there is some space between the mirrored lake surface itself and the jungle, and that's mostly white sand. Huh. Um... Can I... I'm going to touch the water just to see sure. that it's... 
is this water? Is anything real? <laughs> yeah. So you you、uh, you know it's probably about a hundred feet to the water yeah, from the edge、I'll、of the jungle. Yeah, I'll get to the edge.、Um, as you are walking, you can feel the sand is very soft. It's、mm. it's like that、um, the sand that's far away from the if you've ever been in LA's、uh, coasts, the the sand that's a little <laughs> bit further from、yeah. where the tide comes in, it gets real soft and smushy. It's very much like that. So it's takes a little bit. For, you know, it's almost、oh, yeah. a difficult terrain. I、almost. feel like I take my shoes off. And、as soon as you take your shoes <laughs> off, you realize the sand is warm. It feels almost like your feet in a cozy fire at home. Oh, but this feels nice. This feels strange. And as you get closer to the water, you realize that the water is crystal clear. You can see straight through it, and in the lake is a variety of life: fish,、uh, coral.、Uh, Eels, sea cucumbers, a variety of salt water life. It's a drastic, <laughs> it's a stark what, contrast to what you just came from. What am I doing? Yes,、uh, and I feel like I, I look back and try to listen and like look for any movement、sure. that there's someone you know no, pursuing or anything like that. Super still. The sun seems to be high but not hot. Uh, there's a little bit still the same cloud cover that you saw before. They all sort of look like different symbols of gods,、um, but it's very serene.、Hmm. I'm going to slowly walk over to the pavilion. You said、yeah. there's like a it's a marble, marble pavilion, yeah, very much like a Romanesque kind of、uh, pavilion. Yeah, I'll go there, and that looks like. Looks like it'd be a nice view. Yeah, I mean, it the, literally like, like overlooks of, the. <laughs> absolutely, it's built sort of on the sand, but、uh, extends over the lake, and you can see that the vast majority of the pavilion, especially the the circular part of that pavilion, is、uh, over the lake.、Mm. Well, I might as well just wait here for a bit, I guess. So.、I'll... Walk my way over. Yeah, as you're walking, you're still with your shoes off and in your hands, <laughs> it's a again. I, you haven't had this type of serenity since before the party arrived at the City of Glass. Yeah. You've been alone before, but this is. It's almost as if your anxiety is taken from you. Worries of the day don't hit you like they do when you're under normal threat, like you have been for so long. Huh? It's a real chance to self-reflect. Wow, what a word、um, for a changeling.、Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I think is the. I know you said the water was so clear you could、yeah. see right through it, but you also mentioned it being reflective.、Yeah. Like, is the... so as you change your angle, certainly、yeah. the light hits it differently, and you get a mirrored effect of it. You can certainly see your reflection. Yeah, I think、um, I take a second, I look at the water, and it, since you're saying it is so relaxing, and I've described Hallie a very specific way,、um, I think I like exhale as I'm looking at my reflection and. I just change into my true form. It was very interesting, as you, heavy side and Hallie form looked at the water. What you see in the reflection just before you change into your true form was your true form.、Mm. And that's sort of, I think, probably instinctively your response was to yes, just naturally to just turn into、it. that. Yeah. In a way, the water almost matches your skin in some in some ways. <laughs> and I'll continue to walk. Yeah, it's not too long. It takes you probably about a half an hour、um, to get to the pavilion. It's a fairly large lake, but you're not taking you're not like running there, right? You're taking your time. It's very serene and, and comforting,、uh, and you seem to be really enjoying that, especially considering the, the, the recent history.、Uh, and as you approach this. Large pavilion. You can see that it has six columns and a dock that's sort of built onto the sand that extends into the into this pavilion. The pavilion has a ring of marble floor, but you can tell as you get closer that the center of the floor seems to be open into the water. Oh! 
So there's probably cool. about a 10 foot wide walkway around the, the, the outer edge of the circle that mm -hmm. is the pavilion. And then outside of that 10 foot walkway is where the, the columns are. And you can see that the top of the pavilion sort of matches the bottom where it's a circle around, but there's an inner part that's, you know, its circumference is, or excuse me, its diameter is probably 60 feet. And so 10 feet in is this sort of torus-like okay. uh, marble structure yeah. on the top and bottom. The top is open to the sky above and the bottom is open to the water so below. Like it go, yeah, yeah, there's like a through line. All yeah, it's almost out. like yeah. somebody took a, a cylinder and a smaller cylinder and, and just, cut out yeah. a cylinder from the bigger one. Yeah, very much. Okay. Um, I'll go up and I'll kind of look and see if I can determine... Um, if there's like a specific use yeah. for something like that. As you get closer and you step onto like the marble dock that's built to this pavilion, you can see that there seems to be um, a, a woman who is uh, has light green skin uh, and is uh, lounging sort of by the edge of the water with their hands sort of, you know, their arm propping up their head and their hands sort of just dipped into the water circling. Um, they don't seem to be aware of you. You can see that they have really long, blonde, wavy hair mm -hmm. uh, with some flowers here and there amongst their tresses. Um, and from behind, you can see that two long pointed ears stick out from her long hair. Um, and there seems to be some, when the light changes slightly, you can see what look like gold, vine, and flower tattoos amongst their neck and their hands and arms. They seem to be wearing sort of a, almost like a gown, but sleeveless. Summer mm -hmm. gown. Mm -hmm. Spring gown, I should say. Mm -hmm. Mara. The, the elf's mm -hmm. ears perk and she stops twirling in the water and she turns around and her eyes widen. Laura? Is that Yuri? You? Is that you? You found us! Where are the rest? Are you alone? When you say us, we're up. It, is this you? Is this you? It's me, my love. Are you real? And I'll, I'll approach and I think I, I'm like putting a hand slowly mm -hmm. I mean, she also her approaches you very yeah. quickly. Um, but I think Yuri's almost unsure yeah. because of everything that's of happened. And just, are you real? And she puts I, her head in your hand and holds your wrist. I'm very much real, my love. You found us. I can't believe it. Are you all right? I'm very fine. And she kisses you. Yeah. And <laughs> yes, it's clear. Um, as you're kissing... Mara, in the water behind her, out of the center of the rises, what looks like a water genasi. She's lithe and slender, with light blue skin and eyes that lack pupils, but are as deep blue as the ocean itself. Her short hair looks almost as if it's dripping off of her scalp, though it always seems to remain. Her face is one of sadness and longing. Her Romanesque gown is blue and seems to flow like water, even though there is no wind. And she floats above the water as if it's easy, natural. I think I don't even... Uh, absolutely. It, it's clear that this <laughs> yeah, person yeah. rising yeah. out of water is not interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think I am completely, I, I am completely enthralled with Mara yeah. and it's like I, I don't want to let her it's like go. coming home yeah yeah and uh, I you know I'm kissing her on the lips I kiss her mm -hmm. on the cheeks I, I'm holding her it's a deep lover's embrace for sure and returned with full passion and glory I've been looking for you what what happened to you are you are you all right I'm fine we have to leave we have to find a way we can't leave yet my love. What do you mean? It's too dangerous. We found, I say we found, this is the Oracle. Um, you're, <clears throat> how do you do, you're, you're Cristobal's mother? 
You may call me Toshi. Toshi. The, when she speaks the words, it's as if the water itself vibrates with her words. Literally, like if you had a sound wave of what she just said, it reflects throughout the water of the lake. Thank you for taking care of her. It was my pleasure. But um, why, if you're an oracle, can you can you tell me what's going on? What's happening? I am bound by the rules. There are things I can tell you, and others I am forbidden to. I'm. I'm sorry. It's just it's it's been so long, and and I just can't stop. Just like of course, so, yeah. and, and I'm holding Mara's hand, and Toshi says, "Take your time. We have as much as we need." Mara, what happened to you? Well, when we were transported, I fell into a storm. Luckily, I found a rather large piece of dead wood and grabbed upon it. I called for you, but I you see. never answered. I was looking for you. I, I was I was pulled under the waves. I was pulled under the water. Oh. I never thought to look deeper. No. It was so chaotic in the storm, unlike any I'd ever been in. And soon I found myself barely able to cling on to the wood anymore. And that's when a strange half-elf, half-elephant woman plucked me out of the water. Oh, I think that's one of... Uh, Toshi says, Saint, also known as Aitha. Right, right. I, I'm still learning all the names, but I, I think they, that she traveled with... The group I'm currently with now, she used to. Toshi says, that is correct. She has ascended. My brother now inhabits her. What? Your your brother? Yes, Aitha, the god of air. My oh, brother. I see. Right, right, right. Aitha, Toshi. Uh, yes. And you are the children of... Oh... Uh, Thasha. Thasha, yes. Mother of storms. Right. Although it is with great sadness that I must report, she has left this plane. What does... how? Well... I mean, I am so sorry for your loss. Yes. It is difficult for me, more so than my siblings, but um, I can't put this lightly. She was consumed oh, by the fetid father. Oh, I see. I... Without the Stormborn's protections, she found herself without power and at his mercy. I see. I... Well, look, it's it's not easy when the, the gods don't make it very clear what we're supposed to do and we're, who we're supposed to protect and who we're supposed to trust. It is not your fault, and it is not the Stormborn's fault. This all can be laid at the hands of the Fetid Father. His invasion and... Thasha's rule setting afterwards in order to protect has led us into a bit of a kerfuffle. Right. Right, and we're, we're supposed to be the ones that stop them somehow. The blind leading the blind. You're bound to stumble into a few walls. Would it be awfully selfish of me if I said I didn't want anything to do with it. Unfortunately, you are now marked. And when she says that word marked, you can feel your heart pain a bit. 
Mara says, what is she talking about, love? I'm not sure. I know when you're lying to me. You have nothing to hide from me. Or I... Or... You know I'd have good reason if I ever did. Yes. And she steals a glance at the oracle and looks back at you. Listen, well, why can't we just run away together? Properly I this time. Run. I don't know. We'll find some. Do you want to stay here? No. This. No. There's so much happening here. We'd have to find some some other plane, some other place. I I don't know. I. Where would we go? Home. You're wanted. I'm now wanted. That's such a mess. And here it's not any better. But at least we have. An amenity for the most part. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Didn't. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Failshin could help us back home now. Failshin? The Oracle told me you had. dealt with him. I. And she sort of looks down. Did you speak to him? I did more than speak with him. What did you do, Mara? I made a deal. Oh no, what kind? I got very frustrated. And again, she looks at the oracle, and the oracle doesn't seem to respond at all. Seems as cool as water. Just tell me, tell me. When we got here, it was so corrupted and Everything was hard, and it was just the Oracle, and she's not the best in terms of understanding emotions. And he found me, and he he offered that if I it's okay, he would make sure you were safe, <sighs> and that I would be able to find you. And he locked us in here. <laughs> Which, all being said, is quite better than what was out there. But I've been unable to leave since. I should have known. Our hearts are always connected like that. Yes. But Mara, what did you give him? And she pulls down her... Oh, no! And you see what looks like a similar scar across her heart. He said he couldn't break a promise and I don't regret a minute of it because you're here with me now. He delivered on his promise. I suppose that he did. But... But... I, wait. What now? That, that's, that's there, but... What are the terms? I... It's not quite... He can... see through my eyes when he wishes. And uh, I owe him a favor to be... discovered later. That damn devil is what he is. I can't believe it. What a fool I was to think that it might be any different. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, 
I can't say, my love. There's... I see. It's all too complicated, but he's a dastardly being, a god possibly now. Oh, he brought you to me, so he can't be that bad. You're here. I was a lot well. And she looks over the oracle. I'm sorry. And the oracle nods. But what will he ask of you? I don't know. He seems to be very secretive of his needs. Well, all I care about is that you're safe. The oracle says it is only a matter of time before that changes. How so? Baron Medjolon is returning soon. Are they coming here? The Oracle has not seen that. Only that they will return to Nekistos. <sighs> what is soon. here? Anyway, we're, we're like, we're stuck in, in a gauntlet. The Oracle says, this is where Bahatha and Thasha conspired to steal the ancient elemental Ra's powers. I float over the very lake in, with, in which Hydroxithea power was taken. Admittedly, I, I don't know what any of that means. You must know that. The natural powers of this universe, the five elements, water, air, earth, fire, and venom, are all sourced from ancient raw elementals. The astral dragon himself created them so they might create Mechistos. Right. In their, in Thasha's fear, she conspired with Bahatha, the mother of all animus, to steal their godly powers so she could protect the world. Thus, the primogeny were born. Oh, I see. I, speaking of the fire, is that another one of your siblings? Mm, yes, a Sharon Ka filled with all of Thasha's rage. Is that fire? Is, are they? Are they? Are, are they? Friendly, they're filled with rage. Do they, do they have any kindness, any sincerity? I am probably not the best to speak on a Sharon Ka, as it is my driven goal to see them snuffed out. What do you mean? Why? When one makes elements of immense magical universal power in order for the laws of the world to work, for every action there is a equal reaction. For water to flow, the fire must burn. For the earth to move, the air must breathe. And thus it is. I have a good relationship with Aitha, but not so good with Ersharan Ka or Shotas. Which, as a uh, being a creature of water, surely you are well equipped to go against a Sharon Ka. 
It would be a devastating match of equal power that would lay waste to civilizations. It is why largely I hide here. Asharanka is looking for me and our brothers and sisters with a rage that I can only assume means Ending our lives. All I wanted was peace. It is all any of us wish for. I just wanted our lives to be our own. And as you say that, even Mara seems to be caught off guard when a tear falls from the no-pupiled eye of the Oracle. I know this. They stop themselves. My cortic entity knows this pain well. You were once a mother. They were. They made the greatest sacrifice so that we may be in this very moment. Again, the whole time they're speaking, that water ripples with their words. Why is it? Why is it that the gods must choose us in this way? Why, why don't we get to have the happiness that we choose? That is what some of the gods are working towards writing the wrong of the corruption of this universe. Well, they're not great at it, are they, if they need all our help? You are mortal. You understand that things come to an end. We, Primogeny, are born again and again and again. Right. So why haven't you gotten it right? The entity known as the Fetid Father has hidden themselves from our sight. So covertly, so perfectly, that even I cannot see their movements. Okay, so we help you. We give up so much of our lives in order to save the mess that the gods cannot, and then we still serve you afterwards. I know what happens after, and I cannot speak of it. Of course you can, because that would be helpful. It would influence your decisions. <laughs> and if any of us were to influence your decisions, the Fetid Father would know their intentions and be able to counter them. I know this is hard, Yuri right. Adelur. It's hard, yeah. Yeah. So then... What would you have me do? What would you have us do? I'm not putting Mara in danger. You need not put Mara in danger. She is perfectly safe here in this place of power. I, I don't... I don't want to leave you again. The Oracle has already told me that you will. I've already cried the tears that come with that loss. But I just found you. I just found you again. And she puts her hands in your on your face and she brings you close and she says, I will find you again. Do you promise me? I will do everything I ever can <laughs> to the end of my very long days to do to find you. 
I don't know. I don't care what deals I have to make. Please, no what more deals. What powers I must scream to. No, no, promise me no more deals. Please, I will find you, my love. No matter where it is, I'll find you. You promise me? I promise you. Fine. And she looks over at the oracle. And the oracle nods. I must tell you something that is going to be hard to hear. In all timelines, Cristobal is very much alone. No, but, but you haven't, but you don't know this timeline. He's put on the glove, my love. But it is the source of the corruption. <laughs> The source, but but surely it can be stopped. She looks at the oracle. Nothing can stop his transformation. There's nothing. There's nothing. All the powers of the gods. There's nothing we can do to save him. I can't believe that. I cannot see it. The only option I see in every timeline is to end his life. No, I refuse to believe that. I will find... We will find a way. This you... is where you are better prepared than even the gods. You can make decisions that we cannot foresee, that not even the fetid father can foresee. Fine. We'll do the gods' jobs better than they can then. That is Sasha's entire hope of the Stormborn. And then so that the gods can take credit for it. I will do everything in my godly power to make sure that those who deserve to be acknowledged are remembered forever. It doesn't matter. Knowledge matters. Yuri Advalor. Fine. So, what now? How do we get out of here? There's How? only one way out. The same way that you got in. Failshin. Right. <sighs> How you may find him outside of the gauntlet and force him to remove the glove. I don't know. I'll but find be a warned. Way. Lord Erevar is very powerful. An avatar himself of the Fetid Father. The avatar of blood. Blood. Blood is, there... is like water. Well, is there anything, anything that that you know could hurt him? Can you even tell me that? Yes. You found a mirror. I did. That is his source of power. All right. Be careful. The more you use it, the more like him you will become. I know who I am. That much is clear. I know who you are. I've always known you. Even that first time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending to be Rian. I knew it wasn't him. Did you? <laughs> I don't part know. Of me knew. I thought I had you fooled for a while there. I played my part. <laughs> I could sense something different. You played him well, but you did not have the edge that he had. <laughs> And that is what made me fall in love with you to begin with. 
that gentleness, like a refreshing spring <laughs> beneath the surface. My love, it's already going to be hard enough to walk away. But then we won't have the beauty of reuniting. That is a gift of its own. You always had the most beautiful ways of saying things. I had the most beautiful inspiration <sighs> that helped me say them. Um, I'm going to find something in my pack. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Me, Yuri, who has notoriously so few things in their inventory. Um, hmm. You know what? I have a... I have a necklace. I This is just soft flavor. It doesn't do... Great. I had always imagined that I'd had that was actually a symbol of Mara's, a little golden seed mm. at the end of a chain that sort of was always under their robes and I take it off. I always had this so that I'd keep you close to my heart, but I don't need it. I need you to hold on to it. Keep me close to your heart and remember that. And I will come find this again. I will come find you wherever you are. Okay. And she wraps her hand around yours as you put it on. And she looks at it on her neck. The seed. Promise of new life. Yes. Like the spring. It's beautiful. Where did you get it? <laughs> it's from back home. Lovely. I'm sure they won't miss it. <laughs> and uh, I'll kiss her on the head, on each cheek, and then finally on the lips. And Stay you, safe. I will. And as you turn to leave, she calls your name again. Yuri. Yes, Mara. I love you. I love you. To the end of time, Mara. To the end of all times. <laughs> and she turns to the oracle and watches. Goes back to where she was sitting and watches as you walk away. I turn. Walk. <laughs> it's, I mean, you can see the pavilion for a very long time. Yeah. So it's sort of like that. You're walking and every once in a while like, but I really want to go back. I know. I think it's like stopping, yeah. really yeah. getting the willpower to continue walking yeah. and, and to actually walk away is like the hardest thing that Yuri's ever driven themselves to do. And at the edge of the forest, the tree line, um, I think they take a moment and look down at themselves, at their hands, and in the moment of that deep breath, yeah, a large plume of water shoots out of the center of the lake into the sky, forming what looks like the oracle's face. Their head thrown back, their eyes glowing blue, and you hear. The Lion Kin comes soon. She who didn't look will see. Inevitable as the sands of dunes. Fight and fight. They do not flee. And the water flushes back down and almost as if it had never happened in the first place, still as glass. Can you repeat that sure, for me? Absolutely. The Lion Kin comes soon. Uh huh. She, uh, sorry, they who didn't look will see. They who didn't look will see, okay. Inevitable as the sands of dunes. Fight and fight. 
they do not flee. Okay. And as quickly as that happened, the water lands again and becomes still. Um, I must, I must go help my friends. And I'll go running back if yeah, I can. Yeah, as you turn if... to go to this jungle, it's a lot closer than it oh. was before, almost immediately. It's very yeah. sort of disorienting. You turn back and it's jungle and the lake is gone. And, and now you are in back the in it, yeah. And I just go running in whatever direction, you know, hoping yeah. that it will lead me Looking to my friends. friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You begin to run through the jungle, uh, and it is soon that you begin to hear the commotion that they seem to be having uh, where you left them last. Okay. And that's when we'll go back to the table. And now we're back with our friends at the table. Man, that was quite a secret room, if I do say so myself. Oh my god, <laughs> so, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that so was you, a long one. Where we left off <laughs> with all of you, you were in uh, the jungle at the base of the slide uh, from where you summoned in the cave in the, on, on the upper reaches. Uh, and before you is Queen Mab uh, in her full, right now, autumn glory. Uh, and a Faelshin, uh, who is dressed in his finery, his tail, he, he very much looks like he's a, um, um, a speakeasy card dealer. Uh, <laughs> other than riding a giant, uh, yeah, he's got horns, <laughs> wait, wait, he's got a crown of horns that are coming out of his head, but other than that, he sort of, his pinstripe suit okay. with a, I'm with sorry, a nice the crown tie. crown of horns? Yeah. Yes, he's got um, what look like six horns that are coming out of his head. Um, very much like, if you've seen, if you've seen, um, The Music Man. <laughs> sure, that was where, definitely where I was going with that. If you've seen the, if you've seen the first Star Wars film, not the first that ever released, but the first in order, okay. uh, the um, Phantom Menace. You Phantom Menace. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes, it's terrible. It, it is absolutely terrible. Okay, um, okay. So, don't think so. Wow, 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 wow. Merit. So uh, the, the red and black striped individual had horns that came out of his yeah, head, yeah. very much like Darth that. Maul. Darth Maul. You said what you described as the red striped individual. Because they're copyrighted. I mean, okay. <laughs> I was being careful, but that's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, it's just coming via. That's true. You can't. You can't uh, oh, yeah. You so can't. Darth Maul has. It's very similar, like bone crown to to that. Um, they're clearly growing out of his head. But it's growing out of his head. Yes, and it's not clearly like horns. Got it, got it, got yeah, it. Definitely horns. Um, and other than that, he's also riding what looks like an armored spider. Yeah, I don't oh. know why I was really focused on the um, crown part. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, yeah. No. the armored spider part is definitely very disconcerting. Yeah. Yep, for sure. Um, interestingly yeah. enough, about the spider's eyes, they're not black like and black and uh, segmented like normal spiders. They're very much oh, like good. the sleepy eye of yeah. Mammut. They very much <laughs> sort of look like that. But there's eight of them. Even so worse. Uh, even worse. Exactly. I mean, no. So he's sort of got this weird, adorable, but also you're an alien and I want to squish you if you were this big, but you're no, that like is, huge. That is cute. It's actually it's like, cute. You know, I'm like, like, jump, right now. like jumping spiders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and as he appeared, uh, he said to Queen Mab, oh, It's lovely to see you, my wife. And that's when my wife. My wife. <laughs> I stopped. I like uh, was like Mara. muting myself. <laughs> my <wife. laughs> and that's when Mara sort of took the opportunity to, to ditch it into the woods. So you mean you mean Yuri? Yeah, sorry, Yuri. Yes, yeah. uh, Yuri decided to, to ditch into the woods. Um, so we'll return there, where uh, Yuri has run off into the woods we, to I, escape. I, I was I backing am. up with Bertonius, <laughs> getting as far it. away from the angry <laughs> couple right. as possible. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean if if. Yuri took off into the yeah. or Hall, Hallie? Hallie. Hallie, did. Hallie took off into the woods. I would want to go after Hallie. Okay. Um, um, so you like how are you doing that? So if if you could exp like yeah. are they in between where Hallie and I So yes. If I described before it's like a sort of dirt ground. Uh, this is a clearing in the jungle. Uh, and he rose out of the dirt to sort of as she's in the circle that, right. that you've summoned uh, and she's floating in the air with, you know, clods of dirt seeming to float nearby. Uh, you're definitely going to have to go like all the way around, either behind um, Faelshin or behind Queen Mab and her circle to get, or, I mean, you could cut directly. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm just saying you could. Uh, 
He's uh, knowing all the options. But right now, as far as you can tell, they seem to be very sort of locked in a weird, like, I hate you, but also I like you and want to jump you kind of thing. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. weird tension that, like, all of a sudden uh -oh. sort of I mean, falls sure, on the... Yeah, he, classic. He, he Let means, it happen. He means play jump rope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When it doubled, Jumping it spiders. Oh, no, no. Jumping spiders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallie, Hallie has um, escaped into the uh, the undergrowth. We should pursue her. And I'm starting to like come this way, like around the back of. Uh, as you do that, you you see Queen Map. Don't move. No, please. No one move. And she looks directly at Faelshin, and Faelshin sort of gives a <laughs> crooked smile. Uh, yes, my love. You have some explaining to do, good sir. Oh, I didn't realize that we were talking now. I'm digging a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's clearly like so awkward. lovers' awkward spat, and you guys are just in the area. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, really need, I'm just getting deeper I mean, it's, into this hole. Give you guys your space. As as they're having this conversation, you can kind of feel the <laughs> air around them starts to get sort of tingly mm -hmm. and sparkly, like you can oh. taste the air, almost like ozone. Nope. Uh, you can taste ozone. Well, yeah, if you go to Florida. Smell ozone. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. after it rains. <laughs> oh. oh. Why well, you don't go to Florida? Yeah. No, I'm personal Florida. Feel that. Yeah. Feel that. A little personal. Feel that. A little personal. <laughs> Florida. Yo. <laughs> My mom lives in Florida. I've been there. Apologies to all our patrons uh. in Florida. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. <laughs> okay, okay, good. I was thinking about what it would be like to taste ozone. <laughs> to taste ozone, ozone yeah. yeah. <laughs> after, a, after a thunderstorm. Yeah, you yeah. definitely like, ooh, it's in the air. I'm good. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ozone, not good for you anyway. Um, <laughs> Move on. True, true story. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, I'm mostly dodging the awkward relationship <laughs> argument here that I'm having with myself. Uh, you did this. So as they, <laughs> yeah. so the way I'll, as they continue to sort of argue back and forth, it's clear that they sort of stop recognizing that you're around. They're so concentrated, and they start to sort of circle one another. And you uh, can see that Mab crosses the the circle portal barrier that you guys created she crosses it and begin oh, like great. clearly can move out of it and around cool, cool. and they sort of start to circle one another as it begins to get more and more heated and you know you did this and you did that and uh, you put me in that situation and this is your fault and it's not clear who what they're really talking about but they're clearly very upset at each other. If possible, I would like to be standing in front of Bretonius, and at the same time, my Echo appears and stands in front of Coco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, like, Coco, uh, uh, what type is it? You? Is it just a copy of you? Uh, it, it's this, Tiny. this like slightly younger, shinier, more knight-looking, <laughs> like very noble-looking version of a uh, protecting version of Val appears. In front uh, of so <laughs> a version of Val just sort of manifests, uh -huh. uh, for, like in Starlight. Light and uh, in front of you, uh, seeming to like protect you, uh, and Bretonius sort of leans over to you, Val, and goes, "What's happening?" Get in this hole. <laughs> and they look over at Otto, and Otto is like chest deep in dirt right now, <laughs> and it's just getting lower and lower. As you look. We're just gonna go down. <laughs> I don't have. Claws like I, I I know I will tunnel us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. All right, so he's sort of... <laughs> it's like he's trying to hide on a wall, but there's no wall, so he's just sort of sliding around, <laughs> uh, maintaining on the edge of the, of the clearing to get closer to Otto. I feel like we should leave, but at the same time, I'm living for this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. First of all, Because we'll open the bottle of wine. And he's just... They're like, yeah, me and Gadget just like making popcorn yeah. and bad. Like, the popcorn's popping inside of Gadget. Yeah. So it up. Here, I have more. Would you? How did you make butter? Oh my God. Don't ask. I can also make kettle corn. Inside. Here, I also love kettle corn. Oh my Here. God. Anyone want Parmesan? Are we looking for a popcorn? Sponsor? I think so. Oh, Eric's popcorn. Oh, popcorn from Chicago. Call us. <laughs> um, anyway, again, they continue. They continue sort of their argument, uh, and again, you 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 all are sort of like looking for ways to get out. So you, there are parts where you're like not paying attention to what they're arguing mm -hmm. about, and uh, it, it's clear that Mab is sort of transitioning between all of her different 
forms from summer to spring to autumn to winter back to autumn to spring it, it seems that they are clearly in some sort of emotional turmoil but they're mostly focused on they each seem other. to be mostly how, focused on how each deep other. is this hole now <laughs> i mean you at this point you i mean you're small so yeah but i'm trying to dig out yeah so you dig you I dig into this dig your dig speed's 30 feet right 30 well, feet is your yeah dig speed? it's the same as my walking yeah wow. so finally you get over your head and you're like okay now i'm digging fast uh and bretonius sort of hops into the hole and then realizes like he sticks <laughs> he's too wide to fit down oh, I'm, uh, trying to make bell size. I'm sorry question yeah what is the weather doing? <laughs> um, it's hard to tell it's because really of the canopy of trees, but, but Queen Mab is changing, but Queen her, Mab is vibe. changing her vibe. And so the immediate air around her seems to be sort okay. of shifting back and I didn't forth. I know she could take that with her from the Feywild and change. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's clear right. that she's got some sort of power over nature. Is this, mm. Otto, is this a lesson? What is her I, don't, I don't think this is part of the calling, you guys. I think this is a Brit. Uh... Yeah, uh, Crystal is going to start backing towards the tree line again. Okay. Uh, as you get to the edge of the tree line, suddenly they stop moving, and uh, <laughs> Thalshin looks to the side, but not at you, like sort of out into the distance. And he looks at Queen Mab, and then poof, he's gone. And Queen Mab, coward, and then realizes that what you're all. <laughs> we're oh. like a hundred feet away yeah. from yeah, yeah, we're all backed up. Yeah. As he finishes, you're all like, I have fully disappeared. Yeah. Bretonius is hanging yoink, into yoink. a hole stuck. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. a thing. So, Bretonius is in this hole, yeah. but he's yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah. He's stuck. Uh, the rest of you are sort of really far at the edge, uh, and you see Queen Mab land on the ground. Uh, the dirt clods fall to the ground, and she sort of puts her hands on her hair and smooths it back. <sighs> Breathes deeply and she turns to her summer form. You wash that man right out of your hair. <laughs> it's all musical references it for is. you today. It's really weird. <laughs> South Pacific. Sorry, hot, sent him on hot, his way. Cat on a hot tin roof for sure. Uh, she says, she looks at all of you and says, I'm deeply sorry that you had to see any of that. Of course not, Your Majesty. Um, you are in every. You have every right to express your feelings, especially towards a man such as Felshin. Felshin's you... made me very angry on multiple occasions. Oh, yes, well, you should try being the mother of some of his children. Yeah, I'm good. You're I'm a good. Mom. No, I'm Brother. all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, she's no, underground. Do you, want, do you want me to try to? Just uh, and she try. looks over at Petronius. Would you like some help? He sort of looks at Val. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, please. Oh, lovely. And she waves her hand, and the dirt just sort of pulls him out of the ground and flattens again, uh, closing your cave behind Bup! you. That's all right. Yeah, I'm just, letting, <laughs> just okay. letting you know. No, no, okay. uh, and he's standing upright, clearly Be covered in dirt from sort of his chest down, and he starts brushing fair, himself <laughs> off. Uh, and he, he looks at her and sort of looks at Alcorio. Um, so you're here now. Uh, uh, and she looks at Coco. Yes, I am. I, um, owe you a reward, my dear. Oh, right. <clears throat> mm hmm. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. uh, tunneling, like I'm listening to Coco's voice, uh -huh. and I'm tunneling, so I am like right, not under Coco, uh -huh. but like to the left of Coco okay. underground. I'm gonna give you, uh, let's do a perception check for that, just to make okay. sure, uh, to see how uh, how accurate you are. Great. Uh, straight roll as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm here to help, but I'm also underground. Uh, while we're here, we have a glimpse of shadow from Force of Sitar. Oh, okay. uh, We have four glimpses of shadow from Taparto. <laughs> 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 Thank you. And we have one burst of light from Angel Devilson. Oh. Thank you, Angel Devilson. Uh, that has an 18. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can pinpoint pretty accurately where they're at. <laughs> uh, um, look, Cristobal and Coco are like, we need, we need allies. Of course. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you talk like that, I can still hear you. I know, I'm sorry. Um, I <laughs> Let me start. Okay. I apologize for my chaotic nature. The transition was a bit difficult for me, um, but I'm here now, and 
You've it took quite a long time, but time is an immemorial when you're a god. Des, <laughs> how can I help you? Um. Otto begins sort of digging out right yeah. behind you. Well, I don't know if it's really help. It's not my favor, but I definitely have questions. <laughs> okay. You want to just have a seat and we can talk about them? Um. By all means, and as I'm sure she, you're tired after traveling so you're far. You're quite right, and she sort of reclines backwards, and as she does so, vines from the ground <laughs> form into what looked like a makeshift throne. As she before the by the time she sort of lets herself down, it's grown oh completely, goodness. and she sits, crosses her leg, puts her arms on the the railings that she's built with this vines, and says, "Yes, that is a nice piece of furniture." Yes. Uh, uh, Hungry? Oh. Of, of, of that would be very yes. nice. Lovely. She snaps her fingers, and a, from the ground, a wooden table rises out of the out of the dirt. Uh, and as she does so, almost in a wave, massive amounts of food appear. Oh, boy. Anything that you could imagine, your wildest dreams of food appear on this table. And she says, please. I, I have a question before we eat. Of course. Does this cost anything? Oh, I am not failship, my dear. You have paid your dependence. This is my, let's call this hospitality. Oh, okay. I think we can eat it. Of course. And okay. Crystal's already at the table. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. mouth full. Oh, yeah. no, we can totally. He didn't hear Slushy. Yeah. Slushy's like, oh, they have dirt. <laughs> <laughs> also meat. Uh, I like that too. Dirt. <laughs> yes. And Slushy yeah. begins to just sort of, Gast looks around and sort of just sits yeah. down at the table and uh, you see them sort of picking up pieces of food and examining them. Every once in a while putting one in there. Uh, oven or their chest and their bringing oven. it back out and putting it back mm. on the table. Uh, who is eating? I am. I'm not. Okay. Any, I just oh. need to know who is. All right. Once I let you eat first. <laughs> <laughs> you, you jumped right out and I was nervous. You did I not refuse. You You're did legit not. smarter yeah. than me. So, yes, I'm taking your cue. Coco's not eating and yeah. definitely trying to make eyes at them like... Oh, All right. No, Val it. hangs back. <laughs> I'm so, good. you're the only one eating. I am eating. You too? Are you? No, uh, so I just got out of my hole. Okay. Um, things are fu- like less scary. <laughs> um, but I am I am so close to Coco. Like I am like ready to protect Coco. Because okay. I don't trust the situation. Great. So, so you're very on guard. I'm on guard. Very clearly on guard. Yeah. Um, yeah, my so, echo remains. So, what's right uh, Crystal Ball, mm-hmm. for the next 24 hours, uh, you're cured of all diseases and poison. Great. Become, <laughs> you are immune to disease and poison. Great. Uh, you are immune to being frightened. Great. All wisdom immune. saving throws have advantage. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, and your maximum hit point uh, increases by 20. I gotta oh, wow. What? Uh, Yo, and you also, don't, don't you, understand how royalty <laughs> works. And also, if you've had any, uh, if you had any damage, it's completely healed. Excellent. Okay, so plus 20 hit points, mm-hmm. immune to disease. And poison. And poison. Mm-hmm. Immune, immune to, to being frightened. frightened. Wisdom saving throws at advantage. His, his hit I mean, point legit, max goes you, up, or it's basically like 20, 10 No, his hit point HP. maximum goes up 20 hit points. You legit okay. needed that. So he can heal that. Yeah. Oh, it's not temporary. Got it, got it. Really good. Okay. What? Not temporary? No, it's no. max, ma- increases your max for the next, for the 24, next 24 hours. 24 hours. Right. Oh, I was like, what? Not real. Crystal, okay? you look so rested. Well, yeah, yeah immediately cool. his skin fantastic. sort of sparkles, like, very similar yeah. to what you've seen on Rhea. Or, or... Her All various, very, yeah. very, yeah. very yeah. Li- lively skin, you know, clear. All complexion abnormalities are gone. Uh, it's no, very they, clear. I did not have any skin <laughs> <laughs> abnormalities. <laughs> I'm just saying that if you had any, they'd be gone now. So is it too late for the rest of us? <laughs> I mean, the piece is still there. Okay. The piece yeah. is clearly still there. So, but it's clear as he eats it. This all becomes very clear to you. Yeah, so like it's safe. Like you were yeah. the canary and you're us still alive. So that's really good. <laughs> I, uh, forgive my friends who have terrible manners and do not understand there etiquette. There is nothing to forgive. Uh, you have clearly been traumatized by Faelshin as much as I have been. Uh, and I understand your uh, hesitation to deal with anyone who is not mortal like yourself. Yeah. All right, I step up next to Cristobal and I grab like some cold cuts and put them in my mm-hmm. mouth. Oh, yeah, I think I... <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Best cold cut you've ever had. Coco goes for the dirt 
Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah. Dirt, dirt Cheetos, Cheetos. Definitely. Brown dirt Cheetos. <laughs> pop them crunchy. What is happening? As, as crunchy as so it can crunchy. be. Yeah. So light. Ooh. So many nutrients in the soil. Yeah. There's like bug tacos. Oh, yeah. Bug tacos. Some bug tacos. Yeah. Bug tacos. Yeah. Bug tacos. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, yeah, so okay. you, I clearly yeah. all begin to eat. So all of you get those benefits. This is very nice of you. Well, <laughs> heroes deserve a feast. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, your Majesty, yes. uh, uh, may I ask you how familiar you are with what is progressing here in um, our world? Well, um, unfortunately, being in a place out of time and space uh, mm. left me with very little power to see into the realm. Um, I can tell you that I followed Felshin in a tunnel he created out of our own plane, um, and I got caught halfway through by a large snake creature. Did mm. Felshin try to trick you with a snake? Eating a fully live a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> with the tail sort of hanging over his beak. Um, I don't know that Hailshin is responsible for the snake, although I would love to put the blame at his feet. Giant snake. And as she says that, like, uh, just the area around her eyes turns the winter <laughs> blue, and then she calms it back down. Did that giant snake happen to be, perhaps, maybe an embodiment of venom? I <laughs> only dealt with them for a few moments, but um, I would say that that is very accurate, yes. All right, I think possibly... This is in, this is good information to know because we've also seen and fought that giant snake. Really? Yes. Yeah. When well, was this? I was in the gauntlet. On the Isle of Toss. Two days ago, 17 years oh, ago. Boy, as, as so I'm sure you time. know, time is very difficult. I agree. Even for me, I cannot tell you how long I've been gone. At if least three years. If memory, no, actually, because somebody who sent us here told us that they were sending us back, back. at the, the exact oh. same time that we disappeared. So actually, I do think it was like a day and a half ago. No, yeah, that's right. Maybe two. Time is strange. Yeah. yeah. How long were you uh, in your... <laughs> long enough for me to be uncomfortable Tunnel. and bored, mm -hmm. huh. which is saying quite a bit. Where were you exactly? You weren't in the Feywild. No, still. it was sort of... Uh, the best way I can explain it is it's similar to the ethereal plane, but... Um, in the ethereal plane, time still passes, just much more slowly. Here, it's as if time stopped completely. Wait. And everything was black and white and gray. Did it... were you in the astral plane? Oh, no. The astral plane is filled with stars and... S never been there myself, but read plenty of books about it. Me too, read so many books about it. Yeah. Hey, um... <laughs> So, you and Fielshin, uh, yes. so, like, you're right when you say that, like, you know, we've had lots of dealings with him. Yes. Um, but he's never lied to us. Uh, that I'm aware of. That's kind of how it, never. It's not ever a full lie. Correct. Right, it could be like. Lie of omission. You lie of omission, not telling yes. us stuff. Partial truths. Partial right. truths. Truths phrased in the way that benefits him the most. But you guys are still, like, partnered, right? Estranged. Love is, um, a difficult thing. Yeah, it is. And, um, do you have children? <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, do any of you have children? No. 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 <laughs> but tell me about your children, because... Oh, I have uh, many children, and I could tell... I have lots of siblings. <clears throat> yes, so, thank you. This helps me relate. Um, <laughs> you would do anything for your siblings, yes? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Even if they stabbed you in the liver. In my liver? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. You would be very confused and upset. Yeah, I'd be like, And want to know why, so and this is so horrible, and yeah. how did you get How'd that you there? Yeah. With such precision. With such precision to my liver, the detoxificator of my body. Right. Yeah. You are so well learned. Thank you. Thank you, I pop up. Well, detoxificator. Um, That's a good word. It's like that. Okay. 
is there someone that you have feelings for that that makes you feel alive when you're around them? Uh, <laughs> just, say, just say their word. <laughs> like alive, like like I. Like they set your fingers a tingle and your, the back of your neck a flame. That yeah. once happened to you, but definitely not now. Uh, yeah, um, it may, yeah, perhaps I'd understand. Roll deception on that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> roll deception on that one. I'm for sure. I'm gonna say that she probably uh, straight roll as far as I'm concerned. I have advantage on my inside check. <gasps> okay. Which that one uh, and the other one is twenty five. <laughs> um. So I oh, so it's twenty five. But I rolled a not twenty. Oh, nice. nice. Um, but. I it's don't think that I, my, plus, plus these is 23, but I don't think I was very convincing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> 25 still beats your 20, your nat 20, nat 20. 20 is always a success. Yeah. So they don't, they okay. buy that you didn't right. give anything away, but she clearly right. understood that you did not. Yeah, because yeah. I'm not truly trying to be cagey. Aldo is, but not me. So <laughs> is it one... that's among us now? We can talk privately if we want or something, but just like, it's no, no. Say no more, I understand. <laughs> when you feel like that sure. for someone, yeah. and you have children, oh. <laughs> Whoa. it becomes, yes, it becomes, <laughs> uh, not alone. I mean, what? I could procreate alone, but it's so boring. With children with that person in specific. Right, and um, there's a bond that's created that I'm is... learning so much. ...very hard to sever. Yeah. And Wait. especially when you are the queen of the Seely Court, and he being the king of the Unseely Court, it comes with a lot of political issues as well. Oh, so, um. Did I forget to tell you? Seely and Unseely. <laughs> I don't really know what a and Unseely is. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, um. Hmm. I lived in a cave. Uh, we have some books, okay. but the only book I had about the farewell was a coloring book. I see. So well, true. um, I remember the. Hmm. Uh, well, I've learned it this. from you've you've met Bosog. Y yes. 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 So Bosog would be considered a sealy fae, fairies. Um, Wait, did I meet Bosog? Um, I didn't meet Bosog, oh, but he is a mushroom. Uh, well... <laughs> is that no. rude? No, no, that's not rude at all. That oh. would definitely be part of the Seely Court. Oh, okay. A toadstool. Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, Somewhere Jared goes, what? <laughs> a red cap. Yeah. A red cap is on the Seely Court, you typically. On Seely, I'm more like your... Hmm, bugs. Um, bugs? Yes, sentient bugs. I love eating um, bugs. Uh, slime people. Oh, cool! Uh, rat people. Oh, what? Um, a variety of those types. Uh, so stuff you dark find in caves. Fairies, dark fairies. The things that are scary in the dark. Ooh. Yes. Where do changelings fall? Uh, both sides, in fact. Okay. <clears throat> I Curious. think I understand why you <laughs> asked that question. So, um, the changeling you know uh, falls in the seedy courts. Can so I, I just met you, and honestly, I was kind of afraid of you, especially when um, Felshin happened. That was a lot. That um, just means that you're smart. Thank you, but I also uh, I respect you. Smart again. Uh, and I and I'd like to make a plea for, for the safety of my friend. Because Are you speaking of Yuri? Well, do you know Yuri? Yes. Quite well. Yes, you, you, I know you want to you, chase them. How do you feel about Yuri? You guys are friends. We no. did just see Mab call Yuri a, like, oh, that's right. a yeah. pest or a, a bug. A pest, a bug, and pest. then she ran away. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I have very deep and conflicting feelings on Yuri. But, but I also understand that my deep and conflicting feelings can... <laughs> Drive others away. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Been a wow! <laughs> you have a lot of time to think when you're stuck out of time and space. And Bosog uh, likes Yuri quite much. So, 
I also like Yuri quite much. I and have a feeling that all of you know a Yuri that I do not. I don't really know Yuri. I know Aurea Aurelian. And they're really great. Yes. And they're kind and they defend their friends. Mm. And um, they are. They also have lots of stuff they don't tell us, but that's just kind of for, for the course. We all, we all do. But the nature of changelings as well. But can you, can, I don't know, uh, you seem reasonable of, um, of many different moods and seasons. <laughs> can you not kill them? Uh, well, Please? it wasn't my plan to kill them. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to say that. it out loud. Maybe dismember oh, hey. them. Yeah, yeah. And put them back together for my oh. own benefit. I but mean, please don't. Oh, um, that sounds awful. Here's uh, <laughs> Otto. Did I get that correct? Yeah. Otto, you are um, a delight. I was just gonna say that. Thank <laughs> you. And um, with Bosog's numerous defendings of Yuri and their abilities, and uh, clearly part of all of you bringing me here, I will... I'm willing to make amends, but this is how it will function. Okay. All of you must tell me why you feel that Yuri is worth my time. Who wants to start? Oh. Yeah, I'll start. And let's not be generic. Give me <laughs> precise examples. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll, I'll start. I have no Great. problem Please. starting. But Tony's just like, I just I, met him. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't I'm know. on tap out. I like him. <laughs> they seem nice. <laughs> There's a lot happening. Things are going very wrong. Not just where we're from, mm. but everywhere. I did get the feeling of that. Um earlier today, yesterday, it was yesterday, something awful happened mm. uh, in the city where, where my family lives, mm. and people were injured and dying and hurt, mm. and Otto and Yuri and I were in a, a city center where dozens of people were. Mm. I don't have the ability or the intelligence to help or heal or do anything like that. But Yuri was like a, a tornado of healing. It was truly one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. They did not stop until every person that they could help was helped. And Yuri's, we fought next to each other. We've shared so many things, but that was when it comes to real worth and real deeds of that tell you something about a person I mean I, I learned all I need to know that day do you happen to know anything about religion or divinity uh, some my family are wizards so mm. they tend to be a little skeptical and i suppose i've adopted a bit of that too and also the Natural. gods have been really uh, jerks with us <laughs> so yeah a little meddlesome to say the least i see um do you know who they worship yuri yes do you currently i believe i don't i was asking. oh they used to worship me, in a sense. I certainly am not providing them the power to heal anymore, so I'm interested in where they might have discovered that ability again. I do not know where their true devotion lies, um, but I also know... Should I call you Faoshin? Sorry? A mission. Lying by omission. Huh? Oh. That's so good. It's red all over your face. Oh. I suggest all of you be radically honest with me. Especially if you want me to help in a way that is helpful. Yuri's a desperate person. 
desperate to find and protect the people they care about. We've mm -hmm. all been there. And so, yes, I was there when Yuri pledged devotion to Faelshin. Interesting. But I also know that they did it out of a need to protect people they care about. I can't Good. say that I wouldn't have made the same decision. Better. Thank you. <laughs> Who's next? Did my best! No, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. Yes. Um, so, when I first met Yuri, um, I'm gonna use their name, but you, I mean, you may refer them. to them as uh, as whomever you they were at the time. Okay, that makes me feel better. Thank you. I know all of their forms. Okay, so when I first met Rhea, yes, it lovely. I, I love Rhea. Rhea was great, <laughs> but I also didn't trust yeah. them. Mm -hmm. I didn't exactly. trust them. They were in the city of glass, and the city of glass was full of lots of dangers. City of glass. It's a city that's made out of glass. <laughs> That's very clear. Oh, yeah. Sorry. But then... Um, it's a city that isn't a city... Who's the mayor? Where is uh, The mayor is... Lumbra. I forgot. Lumbra. Lumbra. Thank you. Lumbra. Who is... It's a chaos. It's a chaos. There's a lot of prelude to this. We can get into the, the, the details, but I, I want to keep us on track. Understood. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, wow, yeah. Of Anna. course. Um, so... Um, I'm sorry, I've been in meetings all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's I why I have this Use what you point. know. Use what you know. I love this. <laughs> I love this so much for Otto. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so, I, when I first met them, I didn't trust them, but... Smart. Uh, right, but since traveling with them, I have seen them move from someone who is probably selfish to someone who is selfless. They have kept all of us together when it would have been easy for us to, for me to run away. I'm using a uh, advantage from Idaho Judd, the second one that I've gotten from Idaho Judd. Um, oh. And. Oh. You poor owl. I. I know that I things are complicated in yes. and when you feel very big about a person's safety and yes. when they're your friend yes. and they become your family that's yes. weird to say out loud and I just I, I know that they're a good person and they wouldn't hurt any of us um, you are a delight have I said that Mm -hmm. Yeah. You continue to delight me. That's good. Thank you. Who's next? Who's that? I'm sorry. Were you done? Um. Yeah, and they they they've taught me stuff too, like how to steal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Everyone is like, "Your <laughs> Majesty." Um. I have found uh, Rhea to be. An excellent ally, as we are working towards the same goals. Although, oftentimes, the uh, purpose that drove us to meet was quite different. Mm -hmm. um, they have learned of the situation uh, here in Tos, uh, in Anmekis, of the uh, pollution that is destroying the environment and the uh, surrounding countrysides. And they have been a staunch ally of us as we have pursued to um, to uh, rectify this situation. I see. Um, without them, I am unsure if we will be able to combat the fetid father and the uh, uh, fetid, fetid board, board. Yeah. which mm -hmm. are the ones trying to bring uh, an end to this world. The corruptor. Yes. Mm. It is why I was asking you earlier what you had learned of our world, because we are looking to uh, rectify it. I know a person not only of your lineage, but great power, and who feels such passion for the natural way of things, would certainly want to uh, support us in this act. There are scars of corruption even in the plane that I was trapped in. Mm. So you know of the danger? Somewhat. Mm. I could not... 
normally mm. uh, it's easy for me to understand especially powerful sources where they are their intentions uh, the magics they use this one was quite um, slippery hard to focus on as if they knew i was looking and were hiding we think they've consumed adopted usurped not sure what the power of another god that's a, a story for later but that is um not unheard of, but quite disconcerting. There's much that, regardless of the god, and I think it would affect it. It affects all of us. It, it, as terrible as it is to hear that it has come to your attention as well, it's yeah. not surprising. Yes, I see. I'm Thank sorry, you. Were mm. well, you finished? Yes. You. Hi, Queen Mab. Hi. <laughs> Lovely to see you. <laughs> well, it's your doing. Well done. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so you wanted to know about how I maybe feel about Rhea Yuri? Yes. Okay. So, truth be told, I have never really hit it off with them. Makes sense. I didn't trust them for a long time and that's just the truth and I didn't understand why they were so secretive and then they didn't understand my memory issues and you have memory issues mm. interesting why so you don't know who I am then you're Queen Mab <laughs> Coco Queen Mab I love you in a way that very few can love a person. You are my daughter. I came for this honey after you. He took you from me. He took you from me. Fails? You have no knowledge of me. And he did that. I am sorry. I thought you knew. You're my mom? Thaleshin is your father. Now you know how I feel. Well, what does that make me? If he's such a bad liar, <sighs> it makes you a gift to this realm. You are unlike any other person here. You have latent powers that have not yet even woken. Slushy, there, used to be a doll that you played with as a child. You manifested him out of pure will and want. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a doll? <laughs> no, Slushy, you started as a doll. You are just a manifestation of part of Coco. Oh, that's why I always feel so weird when she feels weird and good when she feels good and why I'm so protective and why I always know what you're thinking. <laughs> so now you found me so we can, do I have to go back with you? Well, my dear, I'm not sure that I can go back yet. As you have already identified, the Corrupter, um, leaving, just as entering, corrupts those who come. So, so even you 
are slightly corrupted by the fetid father you named them? Yes, Your Majesty. Yuri, myself included. I do not have the power to clear it, to cure it. I can't even see it. I know it's there. Did you send Yuri after me? I did not send Yuri after you, no. I'm not quite sure how Yuri got here. I assume Feyoshin. But can you say that you sent Coco here? No, I did not send Coco here. Feyoshin took her from her. But the worms? Yes. I remember you gave them to me. Yes, I found you. Through all of the fog, through all of the timelessness, my love for you, you are a part of me. That I found you. I thought you ran away. That's why I thought you were acting the way that you were. Well... I respect your decision to not be a part of my life. And was treating you as I would anyone who is not my child. Because it has seemed that you did not want to be my child. But I was wrong, clearly. Because I planted the worms. I assume. Well, Only you know. It was legitimately the only thing I could remember. Family bond is strong. Sorry. Yes. yes. <laughs> if her memory, Failshin took her memories as part of the deal, whose deal was that? Was that yours? <sighs> it is hard being queen. And I wasn't always queen. There was one who came before me. Titania. Many people died because of my resistance to her manner of ruling. The battle was a stalemate. And in order to make amends. Sometimes one must make agreements that are hard. I only recently was able to bypass part of Feoshin's deal-making. His deals in the Feywild are not as powerful as they are here, apparently. We aren't gods in the Feywild, simply Archfey. Okay. For a time, I forgot Coco existed as part of the deal. Then how did you remember? I got one of her children, and she got one of mine. Wait. That is how we brokered peace. Titania? Yes. Um, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not here. <laughs> I do remember something. Do you? Uh, Coco, as you say that, that place that you know your secret wise begins to sort of tingle and rumble. I remembered, I remembered the other day that it just kind of came to me and it was begins to shake ever so slightly it's um oh gosh um it i saw you and and i guess we were at a court uh or in a field i don't remember do you hold court in a field as she uh, says this uh, it depends. all of you feel queen of, a suppose. pressure it's where your secrets lie. You feel a pressure and you feel it release massively. And all of you, your heads thrown back and your eyes roll back and you all see a memory. 
<laughs> Does Yuri see it wherever they are too? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. just like just running. <laughs> 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 I just passed out the heck? in a Whoa. bush. Yeah. <laughs> On one side Your of the large dilated. field stands Queen Mab, a coterie of seely fey behind her. Across the field stands a woman. You can't see her. She seems obfuscated, blurred in some way. But what you do see is a gigantic field filled with dead fey creatures. Some crushed puddles of blood. It's clear that there was a hellish, nightmarish war waged. Across the field, a woman stands with her hands, this woman you can't see. Her hands are on the shoulders of what looks like a very young Coco. Mab is distraught, lunges to go across the field, her lieutenants and her courts reeling her back. In the center of the battlefield is Faelshin, holding a scroll, rolls it up, and that is the end of the vision. You all return back to the hero's feast. No sign of a child on the side of map? Nope. Not that you can see. Uh, you do, you did see um, a, uh, there is one individual, uh, make a perception check, actually. You can all make perception checks since you were all there. Any Baby Bosog. Any advantage? <laughs> <laughs> just uh, just Bosog. Uh, Not a mushroom. He's, he's very old. Um, he is very old. Uh, Valkyrie, you have advantage from Angel Devilson. Thanks, Angel. Ah! Uh, Cristobal, you have advantage from Tim Finn. Hey, Tim Finn. And everyone else is a straight roll as far as Ooh. I'm concerned. 16. 12. 18. 19. 23. DC is 20. Oh. Uh, Damn. So that's you. Um, you notice there's a bol- Bosog is one of the people who pulls Mad back. Mm-hmm. Um, on the other side, you see... Let me pull this up for exactly who it is. Something like this. It's Hono. A small... <laughs> you know Hono. You see right? a small, elven-eared child. A babe wrapped in swaddling cloth, being held by um, one of the uh, s- uh, summer court. And it's clear it's not their baby. It's Clearly the not theirs. Yeah. Baby. Clearly not theirs. I... I. Was that to you as a child? Yeah. That has been my nightmare for near three hundred years. I didn't want to go. I didn't want you to go, my child. The deal made me forget you existed. Aww. But it was the deal for peace. Yes. You brought peace to an entire plane of existence, my dear. But is that why there is no peace now? Because now you, you remember me and... I was taking my revenge on those who convinced me of the deal. So you created all the storms and brought us all together? Here? Yeah. No. Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. No, that is not my doing. Why did you remember? As I said, Faelshin's deals are not as perfect as he'd like to think they are. And when creatures started showing up in our world and he left, the power that be weakened. And I was able to bypass his deals. So Faelshin knows that he's my dad. Yes. Is that why he helps us sometimes? I would only assume. Because... As, um... Parents' love is supposed to be unconditional. It's not supposed to be so conditional. It's all very conditional with him. With Faelshin, he only knows conditions. 
It's part of being on Sealy. Okay. Um. At this point, you hear what sounds like crashing through the woods. <laughs> oh! <And laughs> still, suddenly, still going. <laughs> a, a very large humanoid sort of busts out of the jungle. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? Is it, like very large now? <laughs> yeah, you see a Goliath? No. <laughs> okay. Oh my. With long black hair that has like flowers throughout oh. it. Oh, that's um very muscular, very strong. Strong. <laughs> cool. Muscle mommy. Um, <laughs> <sighs> there you are. Oh, yeah. it, it's me, Shit. it's me, it's um um oh. it's me, o- Otto, I Aaron. Queen, Queen Mab. Uh, Otto, I, I, I need your back. I, I, I need I need the mirror. You, so I'm sorry, you ran away and then you came back to ask for my mirror? Or, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, of no. I, I came I just... back because danger is coming. I have... What? Learned... What's happening? So many things. Um, um, yes. Okay. Aaron? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, if you do not know, this is Yuri. Um, yes, thanks for confirming. Of course. Aaron. Aaron Tarr, at your service. Nice to meet you. What what danger is coming? Um, I take the mirror, mm-hmm. if that's what you yep. hand me. Mm-hmm. Or, oh. or I go through <laughs> and uh, get the mirror. I, I get it. <laughs> There's so much stuff in there, you will not find it. Like, <laughs> I get into the bag, I <laughs> exit the bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Careful, you can't breathe that. in there. I can't see through its magics, but it is very powerful. It belongs to one of the firstborn. I'm very the, 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 bad. the lion is coming. Here? He's. I, I. I don't know, but I'm. I'm going to look and see. But if you look in there, he can see you too. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. The lion is coming. One of the firstborn. He's a vampire lion, I think. They. Oh. They consumed <laughs> Sasha. Well, that will be. Wait. Easy. Wait. What? Wait. Wait. <laughs> the. They, the the they, the, the fetid born have consumed Dasha? Dasha. Oh no. That would explain why the storms dissipated. Yeah. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Really bad. Okay. Would... And use the mirror. Jeez. Why would those let that happen? Um. Yeah. I will. Oh God. Hold on. What? Uh, Gas looks at you and says. Um, my tie. Oh, do you want to identify the, the mirror first? Yes, I think it's related to this. And out of their shoulder, that long, two-pronged, spiderly-looking metal arm comes out holding the blood, holding uh, uh, the corruption vial. Oh! I believe they are related. Yes, most certainly. That The power comes from blood Oh, Apparently, um, the power comes from this mirror as well. Gas opens their chest cavity and puts the mirror in, and it closes. Uh, sort of, if they could go vacant, uh, their eyes go vacant for a short time. Adam, mm. uh, you are going to roll an arcana check. They were here the last time we identified mm-hmm. this, so I they understand. do know the danger. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we did. We've talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> you get advantage on the roll, Cast. and you add 20 to the roll. Wow. And this is Arcana? Yes. Add Must be 20? nice. 20? What's the DC? <laughs> advantage plus 20, plus your usual Arcana. 15. 35. You know okay. the following information. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. It's not great. We'll take not it. great. Not great. It's, so, but it's pretty good. It's a roll for Adam. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? Not using your dice. 35. Though. You know, the, it's called the Royal Mirror of the Fallen Lion, which you already knew. Right. It's a wondrous item. Wondrous. Considered an artifact. Right. Requires attunement. It has the properties Glimpse of the Lion. Once per day, the attuned user can use the Royal Mirror to spy on the area of 500 feet, which you already know. Right. Yeah, More to that. Well, that one's only once per day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Obfuscated attunement. Fallen insight. 
the user can use the mirror to cast the tech thoughts without using a spell slot. Oh, mm -hmm. Additionally, each use requires a DC 15 wisdom saving throw to avoid being overwhelmed by dark insights revealed, leading to disadvantage on wisdom checks and saving throws for one hour. Did we know about that? Nope. No. Uh, I mean, maybe there'd be risks. I have all this, I'll give it to you. <laughs> risks. An obfuscated attunement called the Royal Command of the Fallen. That one, Once know, that per one. week, okay. the user can use the mirror to cast Gaius without using a spell slot. Wow. The command must relate to the downfall of a person or place of noble stature. That we knew about. Breaking the command incurs the usual penalties of the Gaius spell. Another obfuscated ability, the price of nobility lost. Each use of the mirror slowly corrupts the user. After ten uses, uses the user undergoes a transformation into a vampire. Oh, oh no! My gosh. As per the vampire template. The curse can be removed by imbibing the blood of a vampire. If the user is considered noble, this transformation is permanent and can only be reversed by powerful magic such as wish or a deity's intervention. Mm. It has the obfuscated, oh. another obfuscated term called obfuscated. The item is obfuscated by magical means. Using identify will only reveal those things that are not obfuscated. The DM secretly rolls the arcana check for the caster. The DC determines what they can sense. Some properties can be revealed by attuning to the item. And a final obfuscation called the cost of corruption. The mirror is directly connected to the corrupt soul of Razar, the shadow main. Who? Razar the Shadow Man. Oh, I love Sick it. Sick name. Any spellcaster who is able to break through the obfuscation can use the mirror to negate the legendary actions and legendary resistances of Razar, as well as afflict radiant vulnerability on them while within 500 feet. This oh, ability is automatic. If they're attuned to it. Nope. You <laughs> just have to know it. Oh, you have it know. in your possession. Yeah, okay. And That's as me. long as he's within 500 feet of you, the re re it, it, re real it negates the legendary actions and re resistances they have, as well as gives them radiant vulnerability. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Gast sort of spits this out, and then their chest cavity opens, and they hand the mirror to, <laughs> to Aaron. How many times have you used that? Three. Oh my god, I use it three times? Sorry. I'm like, <laughs> I remember at least one, but yes. So three? I buy three. What did I do? Uh, you definitely you looked through it. Look look like, look I remember easy. looking through it once. Yeah, she was like, You were like, search it was around actually really casual. You had that thing in your teeth for yeah. like two days. Yeah. I, was like, I couldn't like, take it anymore. And I was like, please, please. check the mirror. I remember please. looking. At least that's why if, but, okay. there's at one point if you go back one, two, two three. episodes right. prior, I described that their eyes sort of sunk in slightly. Yeah. Oh. That yeah, was but the, that happens to her all the time. Yep. That's, that's a eerie thing. Yeah. Happened to look like this. Okay. Um, as you, I assume that was fail really uh, As Gast sort of uh, outputs this information, Mab sort of starts looking around. Yeah, we haven't really even talked way. about where we are. We're in a place called the Gauntlet. Yeah, it's, um, I think, a proving ground for Bahatha. I'll or, tell you everything now. Or all the gods, maybe. I think yeah, we have to get up at the clouds. Belshin to take it off in order to get out. Okay. Well, can uh, we make it really itchy? Belshin, show yourself. Okay. I wish to see you. Here, eat some of this food. Eat some of that food. Eat some of that food real quick. <laughs> <laughs> eat it, eat it, <laughs> I know Queen Mab's food when I see it. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody eat it's as like much as you can. Time goes by and he doesn't appear. Uh, oh. uh, I wish. Wait, that's a question. And you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say I wish? <laughs> no. That's what I'm to say. <laughs> and as that laugh begins to grow, <laughs> echoing from the sky above you, the blue cloud-filled sky at the top begins to drip. Ew. A black goo. Ew. No, that's not good. Splattering wow. on through the trees. And soon, the sky begins to part. That black ooze, almost as if covering a sphere above you until Queen Mab and the gauntlet are gone. What? And you are standing what? in the cave with Faelshin at a knee. 
his neck gripped oh. by the claws of a very large oh, bring it. lion kin Let's go. vampire. Oh. Why would you be excited about this? Before <laughs> you, tell you later. stands a regal <laughs> and intimidating figure. A lion kin whose presence commands immediate attention. His muscular form, enveloped in a high-collared duster, moves with a grace that belies his predatory nature. The duster, made of a deep blue heavy fabric, falls elegantly around him, accentuating his regal stature. The fur that covers his body is a deep midnight black. It seems to catch the glowworm's light and shimmers with an otherworldly other quality. His darker mane of hair seems to absorb the light around him, with unsettling streaks of crimson running through like rivulets of blood. When he turns his gaze towards you, his amber eyes glow faintly, holding a depth of ancient wisdom and untold malice. His fangs, unusually long and sharp, glisten ominously, and his extended claws are coated with a shadowy essence that seems almost to dance around its razor-sharp edges. He looks at all of you. And that's where we'll take our intermission. Intermission! That's where we'll end this episode? Yeah, I, I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's where we will end this episode. Ah, oh, come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, we're in it. Razor the, Razor the Shadow Man, uh, for those of who want to know, a R H A E Z A R. Oh, wait, wait. What? Oh, wait. Like Razor E. R H A E Z A R. Razor Scooter Wars. A R. Oh, I was yeah. the Shadow Man. Kind of close. R H E Z A R. R H A E. A E Z R. Mm -hmm. Good lord. Z A R. He's dead. Um, so, uh, <laughs> next episode, we are definitely going to be in a battle. Uh -huh. So, yep. Uh, yep. we're going to do all of Let's that. Talk our way out of this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think he seems super reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> super reasonable. Seems super fine. reasonable. At the end of our show, we'd like to read off the Patreon names of our Force uh, Team Shadow, Force of Shadow, and Team Force of Light. Uh, and that's what we'll do now. It's and if Adam's missing and there's something on the table, don't pay attention to that. Yeah, don't uh, look at this. Don't so look at it. We, eyes up here. Eyes Everything up here, eyes is up here. fine. <laughs> but we love you, Team Force of Light and Team Force of Shadow. So we're going to read off Team Force of Light with a style suggested by Vampire Bait. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Vampire Bait. Okay, Ted like Chef this. or Chefs uh, <laughs> listing the menu for a posh new restaurant for Team Force of Light. Well, as you know, we are opening up the Fest of Life Preserver tomorrow. Yes. So. Excited. We've been working very hard. I know Beaker, Parr, and I uh, really drilled down on the latest uh, recipes, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about Daria, not Daria. Wait, Daria. Not Daria. Not Daria. It is me, the angel devil stand on your shoulder, <laughs> here to taste all of your creations and give you uh, honest feedback. Um, our primary ingredient uh, yes. this uh, evening will be a uh, city racing girl. Oh, Real bits of girl in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it has that gray ah. city. Is that like... fin du riz? Uh, we you put to fin du riz? It. Yes, you it was did, experimental. You, you yes. noticed it. You noticed it. City that... racing girl with fin du riz is a, a delicacy in some cultures. No, uh, <laughs> experimental. You know, if, you, if you use too much fin du riz, you're going to dungeon speed run right to the bathroom. Yes, I so... would rather not. There's a normal amount. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'll next. Uh, the the Braba course. Yes. Uh, I think Carrie will help you with. Yes, I've been working on the Braba course. Uh, did, okay. Uh, yeah. Do I need to call a Ghostbusters quick response unit? Are you okay? Uh, no, it's just jewels. Um, it's what? just made of jewels. A bowl of jewels. It's a bowl of jewels. But they're like edible. They're edible. edible jewels. They're made of like gelatin candy. Okay, we don't need to be unbearably mm -hmm. quacious. They get it. No, let's just, just leave them be as they try these. Oh, is that magnifique? Yes. yes. We're gonna have a stellar oh, opening. Fantastic. Stellar so opening. many chefs Ooh. in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Almost too many. Thank you, Team I'm Force of Light. Yeah. <laughs> I bake jewels. Yeah. Now for Team Force of Shadow, <laughs> to turn it around a little bit, from Idaho Judd, oh. 
a health inspector at Vampire Bates Pushner <laughs> Restaurant delivering bad news. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a twist here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it when they do t- they, they work off each other. Listen, I really wanted this restaurant to work for you guys. Um, Tuo Mask is really just breathing down my neck at work, and okay. I just think I'm nuts, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were very disappointed with the kitty scratches. Oh no. But that oh, was like no. our primary dish. Yeah, gonna... We found uh, oh. several extensive Lincoln breaks in the kitchen and we bathrooms. Did. We did. did you know you had them in there? Listen, listen, listen. I haven't seen something that bad since the Black Akari. Oh, no. I, I, okay. I, I, whoa, I am, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a bit anymore. of a fail waffle. Well, we were trying I'm to just, just leave enough room for the gateway guy to get yeah, in. Yeah, and we just wanted to make sure. It no, was I did get yeah. Idaho Judd potatoes, though. Let me. Yeah. Oh, we did also get the report that that bowl of just Jules Abra killed Abra someone. No. Oh. No. No. That's, but that, that we're sounds have to fun. Shut you down. you just that's handed a, them a bowl of jewels. Yeah, what did you expect? It's a token hazard. <laughs> sure. We have to shut you down immediately. But, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Definitely going to be a second degree manslaughter charge. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Team Force of Light and Team Force of Shadow. Don't pay attention to the table. Um, Eyes up here. Watch. I feel like if you keep drawing attention to nope. it, no, 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 never mind. It makes it more secret. When Fair we enough. Don't uh, catch next episode because we don't know what happens, but it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and we're crying. And we're fine about it. it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And as always, humankind, be yeah. <laughs>